2020 vision, you know what I'm saying? So I did a video where I tried popular workout. No, did it was popular? I don't remember. I tried seven hit workouts. One of the people I found was Caroline Gervan. I said her name wrong in the first video, but I'm here to correct that. I think it's Gervan. I really hope it's Gervan. <laughs> Anyways, she is a workout monster. Like, she's a beast. She looks shredded. She looked like she gonna make you do like 12,000 burpees and then bake you some apple pie after. You know what I'm saying? Like she's sweet but a little savage. <laughs> That's okay, we like them over here. Now, I know it is so hard to push yourself when you're working out from home. I'm gonna push myself for you because I wanna show you that you can do it. One of the workouts I tried by accident, <laughs> are you ready for this? Every single exercise she superset with like burpees. Are you trying to kill me, Karen? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> I had to stop halfway through and I was reading the comments and everyone was like, this was so hard, but I pushed myself and I'm sitting here like, I did it. To hold myself accountable, I'm going to work out like Caroline for the entire week and I'm gonna show you exactly how I struggle. I hope by the end of this video, you wanna take a chance on Caroline as well. So, I'm ready to die. Okay. <clears throat> All right, this is the 15 minute dumbbell upper body so she said we're gonna do shoulders biceps triceps in a little circuit so I have an eight pound and a five pound she said she's using eight pounds so what I'm gonna do is just switch it up when it starts to burn or I might just switch to holding a water bottle and the five pound switch up we gotta work with what we got The reason I started this program was because I was getting to that point in lockdown where I was starting to lose motivation. At first it was fun trying out all these new workouts, new people, Lily Sabri was definitely making working out fun, and I was looking forward to her, her videos. And at the start of lockdown, I was waking up to so much anxiety that I would just lay in bed, staring out the window or staring at the ceiling, just blankly. Probably procrastinating working out, but the truth was, I didn't really have a reason to get up. Starting Caroline's program gave me that reason to get up in the morning. I know it sounds dramatic, but I'm a routine person. If I don't have routine, I feel completely lost and I'm not myself. So I developed my own routine in lockdown. First thing I did when I woke up was go wash my face, brush my teeth, head down to the basement and work out. That endorphin rush in the morning is so addicting. I fully believe that when you have a good workout, you're going to have a good day. So it became a habit. Even when I woke up and I wasn't in the best of moods, I knew working out would at least make me feel a bit better. Caroline's programs are a month and a half to two months long and I really didn't see myself dedicating myself to a whole program and that's just me being realistic. I've definitely steered away from month-long workouts because I know I'm just gonna get bored and I don't want to complete it. I just don't want to give up on myself and be a failure, you know? So I usually stuck to two-week programs, three-week programs. So I went and looked on her website and the program looked pretty scary. It looked pretty intense. Then I saw that she had a beginner epic series, which was a week long. It was a full body, a combination of no equipment and dumbbell workouts. I only had two dumbbells, an eight pound and a five pound. So for me, I was focusing on the no equipment workouts and adding the dumbbells when I wanted a challenge. I have to say, I love her upper body workouts. That was something I struggle with most at home. Like most at home workouts are for legs, abs, cardio. Not many focus on actually challenging arm workouts with weights. So I noticed that Caroline really likes to hammer the muscles. And by that, I mean, she likes to target them from all angles, different variations. Just when you think your arms are gonna fall out, there's another set. <laughs> so sometimes I find myself begging for her to switch body parts, just focus on something else for a while because I was so sore. I really love that she incorporates unique chest workouts. This was a challenge for me to work out in lockdown as well. 
when I was going to the gym, I love chest day. I love working out my chest. And most workouts on YouTube for chest are just push-ups, which I'm not really great at. So I love that she was doing dumbbell chest flies and chest press. I loved it all. 10 out of 10 would recommend her upper body workouts. Let's see what day two brings. Good morning. It is right first thing in the morning, day two of working out like Caroline Gervin. And I am so sore from whatever I did yesterday. My shoulders feel like they're gonna fall off, which is a good thing, because that means the workout worked yesterday. And today we are doing 30 minute abs. I have never trained my abs for 30 minutes, ever. But today we're gonna do it. And I'm really scared for my core. I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> If you've seen Caroline, then you know she is shredded. Like her six pack got a six pack. Her six pack met me up in the alley and beat me up. <laughs> okay, so what I'm trying to say is that I knew her abs and core workout were gonna be intense. None of those lose belly fat or get rid of muffin top type workouts. She was gonna give me a real core workout. I did her 30 minute defined ab workout. I have never trained my abs for 30 minutes straight, so I thought it could be a cool challenge. It also said no repeat, so hopefully I wouldn't get bored. She really focused on a lot of holds and keeping your core tight and engaged. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was struggling a lot with that and my back was taking over a lot of the movements so it was pretty sore. The more I got into the workout, even though it was a good one, just felt like 30 minutes of abs was just way too much. It was a bit excessive. My abs are burning the entire time so I know that it worked. But not even a quarter way through, I was getting a bit bored. Which isn't Caroline's fault, that's just my preference. I prefer ab workouts to be quick yet effective. The two 5 minute ab routines I've tried here on my channel were more effective than the 10 or 15 minute ones that I have done, which is really weird. I feel like when I have a short amount of time to get things done, I really focus. So while this video definitely wasn't my favorite, I can say that her other ones, her other ab videos are a lot better. You're not gonna like every single video. Some people have different styles, some different movements, so it's okay, this is not your preference. I'm gonna point out that Caroline has some very unique movements and variations. I was definitely shocked. I hadn't seen someone include moves like that in their ab workouts. So if you're looking for something to challenge you and your body in ways that you hadn't before, definitely try Caroline. She has stepped it up a level for me. I would say she isn't for beginners. She She's more for intermediate or advanced. For someone who's getting bored of at-home workouts, when I do her workouts, I feel like I'm actually doing part of my normal gym routine. If I had some heavier weights, that would be amazing, but we gotta work with what we've got and not complain. So even with body weight, she makes things so challenging. I have come to the conclusion that 30 minutes is way too long to train your abs because I'm not even halfway done and uh, I'm sore. I can't even do it. I can't do it. I don't know what it is, but when it's like a 10 minute video, like quick things, like I focus more and I feel it more. When it's like a longer video, it's almost like I get bored because these moves, like I've done these moves before, but like I'm not feeling the core engagement. It's kind of weird. Ah. All right. So I just finished Bully Juice's workout and that was 10 out of 10 exquisite. And it was a five minute upper body workout. And I don't know why, because I planned it, but I'm also doing Caroline Gervin's. It says, it says five minute push up workout. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like my arms can't even, <sighs> help me, help me. <sighs> All right, let's see what she's got for me. She's warming up the wrist, so I'm not excited. <laughs> Tell me who told me it was a good idea to try Caroline's five minute push up routine. Tell me please. <laughs> the video is great, just I didn't have the strength in my arms to actually complete it. Remember when I said Caroline likes to really hammer and exhaust the muscles? Targeting them from all angles? Well, this video, don't be fooled that it's only five minutes. She has a bunch of push-up variations. Shay, me, can barely do a normal push-up. I'm not sure why I thought it was a great idea to try this, but for the entertainment purposes, I included it in this video. Push-ups are definitely something I want to work on. One of my good friends suggested I try to do an amount of push-ups every day for a challenge, and I'll definitely take her up on that. Caroline is smiling the entire time she's working out. It's insane. She doesn't talk to you, but she gives you little visual cues for form, and I'm a visual person, so I really love this. I can't go all the way down, so this is all I can do. I find it really cute when she mouths the word. Currently, I'll work on it. She has the best timer on her videos, I swear, on all of YouTube, she has the best. She even has a loading symbol that shows you the percentage of how much is left to complete in the workout in her newer videos. Diamond. Diamond. Her music gets me hype. I can't say enough great things about Caroline. This is hard. Mm. Oh, 
hole in the hole. Let's try. I'm gonna start off at the bottom. but this is all I can do. <laughs> I gotta say, these are very creative. 10 out of 10. Because, you know, it's sad. I'm finding this, like, almost near the end of lockdown. I really feel like I could have done this every single day. I mean, there's still hope. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Caroline. Alrighty. So today, I'm excited for this because we are doing a one hour full body isometric hold now <clears throat> if you see my videos on lily savory you know i like pilates you know i like them holes i'm completely lying right now <laughs> i don't know what it is but when when you contract a muscle and just hold it in place like it just gives you such a good workout like you are so sore pilates they're onto something i'm telling you this is an hour and to me, it'll count like as a stretching routine, I guess. I don't know. I, I can tell it's going to be hard and a lot of core work. So maybe this might help my back a bit. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Let's go. After completing seven days of Caroline Gervin's workouts, I decided that I wanted to try out her longer program. I felt like it was the challenge I definitely needed. Once you get too comfortable, that's when you need to step things up. The week after this, my city came out of lockdown for a month, and then we went back into lockdown. So I'm speaking to you from the second lockdown. I'm currently doing Caroline's Epic 2 program, and I'm loving it. I'm documenting my entire journey, and if you'd like to see my review of that, please hit that subscribe button, put your notification bell on, because that video will be up soon. I gotta say, her program is like no other. Again, not for beginners, but more for intermediate, hard level. I've been really loving how she incorporates weights. I feel like I've never even left the gym. I'm even more sore with her than my actual workouts, and that's saying a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. If you got this far in the video, comment the word EPIC down below. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching until the end. It means so much to me. Love you. Bye! Okay, my core is burning, my battery's dying. I'm gonna go finish this workout and I'll let you know how I feel.